Got any tips? I got some tips. All right, quick tip. Stop buying new guns. What do you mean stop buying new guns? There's a percentage of you out there, and you know who you are, that will buy a gun, shoot 50 rounds through it, maybe 100, and then you go trade that one and get a different one. And then you go trade that one and get a different one. Stop yourself. If you ever want to be good, if you ever want to be proficient, if you ever want to achieve success, stop buying new guns. Buy a gun. Take that gun. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a Glock, a TP9, SA, uh, a freaking Beretta, a SIG. I don't care what it is. Buy that gun and dedicate yourself to that gun. Take that gun to a training class. Put hundreds and then thousands of rounds through that gun. You're never going to achieve any kind of success or proficiency if you keep changing guns like underwear or the flavor of the month. And you know who you are. And you know what? If that's your bag, cool. But if you want to achieve success, you want to have some modicum of, I guess, uh, confidence in what you're doing, we've had people come to classes. I've had people come to classes with multiple styles of guns. Double action, a guy came to class, he had a double action gun, a single action gun, and a striker fired gun in his just in case bag. Dudes, buy one gun, master that gun, and then if you're bored with it, master another one. But before you run out to buy the latest, greatest, newest toy, you might want to think about achieving some kind of success or confidence with that one. That's it. I'm all done talking, freaks. Go do your stuff. This, this dude said, but dude, they have an FDE with polka dots. I have to buy it. Is it? But is it the FDOD? FDOD. FD, flat dark olive drab. Scott Meyer says it put over 10,000 rounds uh, the first year I had my latest. Mm. That's, that's Rock on, congratulations, then this doesn't apply to you. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're talking about guns. No, 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 you can't walk off. You can't just walk off. You can't just drop the mic and walk because you don't have the mic. So we're talking about guns, and I want you to show them your newest project because it's done pretty damn well. With this one? Yeah. This is the Colt LE901. Oh, it's good with a suppressor on it. The LE901 is pretty cool because it comes with a 308 upper, but you can also buy a 556 upper. So you get two guns for the price of one, essentially. You have one receiver, two uppers. You can shoot 556, 308 through the same gun. Did you take that to your coat? Did you take it to your painter? Or did you do it by No, yourself? I did it myself. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't believe you. With Jerko can and can. Not that one, but slightly darker black, the only can in, in existence. So what you do with Duracoat is you spray it on and then you let it dry and then you take it out to the range and like scrape it around along the rocks the next day. Right? No, no, you have to you, you're supposed to let it cure. Let, when you put a new finish on it, let it cure for fourteen days before hard use. Hard. Hard use. Okay. Like range time. Okay. Or shoving it in and out of a holster a hundred times. All right. So you're on the spot now. Come up with a quick closing. Like a something that you're going to say every time. What are you going to say? You should like a julienne salad. That just, what do you normally say? What? What do you normally say on the radio show? Student got a radio Beginner once, student for life? Yeah. Is that what they are? Buy hippies. Okay. <laughs>